Okay, so now we're gonna look at the upper limb muscles. So looking at the side here, so we have this muscle that's on the shoulder. This is the deltoid muscle. So it is triangular shaped, that's where the term delta comes from. It's a deltoid. And then in the upper arm, we have three sets of muscles to know. Uh, so on top is the biceps brachii. The term biceps means there's two heads that are gonna attach up here brachii because we're on the arm. And then if you go out on the lateral side, this one that's sandwiched in between is called the brachialis. So we have biceps brachii, brachialis. And then on the back, this large muscle on the posterior side of your arm is the triceps brachii. So there's three attachment points there. This is gonna be attaching to the olecranon process of your elbow. And on this model, you won't need to identify the muscles in the forearm because they're pretty thin on this model. I'll have you look at that on the larger arm model, just as a reference point. Through here is pronator teres, and that meets up with brachioradialis. So keep in mind there's a difference between brachialis and brachioradialis. Okay, if we look at the back here, kind of looking at the other arm and more in the shoulder area, again, so here is that deltoid muscle. And then on top we have biceps brachii, brachialis and then triceps brachii. So then looking at the muscles around the scapula. So these are gonna be forming something called the rotator cuff. These tendons are wrapping around the head of the humerus, keeping it secure in that glenoid fossa. So here's the spine of the scapula. So above the spine is this muscle called the supraspinatus. So in that supraspinous fossa through there, Below the spine, we're gonna have this big muscle called the infraspinatus, infraspinatus, so below the spine. Running next to that through here is called the teres minor muscle. So teres minor is running along with infraspinatus. Next to teres minor, this one that's thicker, but kind of in the same location is teres major. Teres major is not part of the rotator cuff because it doesn't go to the head of the humerus. It's gonna go slightly lower. Um, but teres minor and teres major are both going to be splitting around triceps brachii. Okay, and we can see similar things on this side. When the trapezius is covering most of that, the only ones we can see is infraspinatus, kind of peeking through here. And we see just a thin portion of teres minor and then teres major through here. And then one more to look at. So if you're wondering on the scapula, the subscapularis, Okay, that's on the anterior side. So it'd have to be, we remove this model and look at it from the palm is facing up. This is showing us the subscapularis. So that's where we find that one. That's the fourth one of your rotator cuff. And so that's gonna be sitting right next to the serratus anterior um, whenever everything is put back together through there. Okay, so those are the muscles to know for your shoulder and your upper limb.